The Minority Report by Philip K. Dick is a person versus society short story whose protagonist, John Anderton, is the creator and head of the Pre-Crime Division, which is a police agency that uses precogs, the three mutants, to foresee and stop crime before it is committed. To start off, the narration of the story is third-person limited. The narration style only allows the readers to know what the protagonist, Anderton, is thinking. As for the tone of the story, it is intense, with a lot of adventure, and the mood is mysterious. Having this specific narration and mood allows the reader to only know what Anderton knows. This makes the story more interesting. As for instance, when it is revealed that Anderton is predicted to commit a crime, or in Kaplan, the man he is supposed to kill is someone he doesn't even know. This adds to the suspense and intensity the author tries to portray in the story. The author also adds many literary devices to communicate meaning and add a more engaging effect for the readers. A few examples of literary devices include paradox. For instance, the pre-crime division, which is supposed to be for social good and to eliminate crime before it occurs, is actually used to harm the members of society. Another literary device that was used throughout the story was imagery. The author used imagery to portray the future which seems to be much different from today's reality. This story has many aspects of a dystopian universe. What makes it a dystopian story are the characteristics the author had embedded. A few dystopian characteristics include that there is an extremely advanced technology, which are the precogs. There is also de deconstruction of privacy, since the citizens are perceived to be under constant surveillance, and the precogs invade the privacy of the would-be criminals in order to predict their future crimes. There is also use of propaganda to control citizens. Yet the one that I'm going to go more in depth about is that the society is an illusion of a perfect utopian society. The way the author illustrates the story makes it seem like it's a futuristic society. This also incorporates why the author chose this specific setting, which is that it's supposedly in New York and that it takes place in a futuristic society. Now back to the topic of a dystopia disguised as a utopia. Kaplan, who is supposed to be the antagonist, says himself, as soon as precognitive information is obtained, it cancels itself out. If no arrests had been made, there would still have been no crimes committed. Even though he is the antagonist, his words do hold some truth to them. The point of the pre-crime division was to stop crimes before it happens, which is seen as a good thing, or utopia. But when it actually takes action, it loses its purpose and reveals to be a dystopia instead. So by trying to eliminate felonies, they have created detention camps full of individuals who have not actually carried out a crime. This relates to the message the author is trying to portray. In this short story, there are various themes and messages that can be conveyed. However, I am going to be focusing on the subject of free will versus determination. The overall theme of the Minority Report is that free will is determined, or rather altered, by one's experiences and environment. So since the would-be criminals know of the crime they are told they are going to commit, they no longer have the free will to do so. This acknowledgement alters their prior decision. They might have committed the crime they were predicted to do if and only if they had no knowledge of what their future actions would be. But since they do, they now have the free will to stop themselves com from committing a crime. This story, theme, and subject can be relevant to our everyday lives. Because of the pre-crime division, many innocent people are imprisoned because of the predictions, which is the opposite of what one would ha want to happen. You would expect the potential or future criminals to be imprisoned and think that it would be a great idea. But instead, they are no longer criminals and no longer have the idea of committing such crimes. So simply, the predictions cancel out. To make this more understandable, one can connect the Minority Report to other stories with similar themes. For instance, this story shares some similarities with Shakespeare's Macbeth, where Macbeth is told the prophecies and by knowing what the future holds, defeats the whole purpose of his free will since now he knows the predictions and is more aware of the consequences of his actions. This relates back to the theme of the short story. Now this is rather relevant to our everyday lives as technology in our society is advancing and we try to use it to create this utopian world where it is free of crime. A society free of crime sounds like it would be perfect, however when you realize and take in what this would require, the number of innocent lives ruined before they even think about committing a crime, it defeats the whole purpose of a utopia. Thank you for listening.